So CHIP, or clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential, is a precursor state for blood cancers such as acute myeloid leukemia. We and others have found that CHIP also associates with other chronic inflammatory diseases of aging, such as an increased risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, presumably due to alterations in innate immune cells that derive from the mutated stem cells in the bone marrow. In this study, we wanted to know if there is any association between CHIP and Alzheimer's disease, which is, of course, another chronic disease of aging. In order to do this, we examined several cohorts in which we had information on who had CHIP and who didn't, and who developed Alzheimer's and who didn't. And what we found consistently in all of these cohorts was that CHIP was associated with a reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease. This was quite surprising, and we wondered if this could possibly be a causal association. In order to strengthen the likelihood of a causal association, we looked for the presence of the mutated CHIP cells within the brain. In the brain, the resident immune cells are called microglia, and they are similar to macrophages in other parts of the body. It is believed that the microglia derive during embryonic development, but do not have any contribution from the blood or bone marrow in adult life. And so we identified eight chip carriers who died and donated their brains at autopsy. We sorted out cells that had microglial markers, and what we surprisingly found was that seven out of the eight chip carriers had evidence of mutations in their microglial pool in the brain. Furthermore, two carriers studied in detail had between 40 to 80 percent of the microglia replaced by these mutated precursors. And so we now hypothesize that the replacement of the endogenous microglial pool by these mutated cells may provide a protective effect in Alzheimer's disease.